What's up guys, Mardi Gras Man 23 here and I am standing here with Trains Are Fun. And you might be wondering why is Trains Are showing up in a Mardi Gras Man 23 video. Well let me tell you what I did guys, I'm really excited to share this with you. There is a set, set 400014, the Legoland train. And that set is an inside tour train. Now the only way you can get that set is you have to go to take an inside tour. This set was given away exclusively to attendees in 2014 inside tours. In May of June of 2014, it was also given to exhibitors at Lego Fan Weekend in Denmark in September of 2014. And it was given to Legoland Ambassador Pass holders in 2014. So the picture that they have on Brickset, you can look it up, go to Brickset, type in, you can either type in the Legoland train or you can type in 4000014 and the set will come up. It originally contained 548 pieces and the only way to get that is to go over there, go through the inside tour and I'm assuming this is your gift. Now the picture that's on brick set shows it's limited to 80 sets and the, the picture says that that set is 8 of 80. So it is a very limited edition. I mean it's going to be really hard to obtain. If you want to get it you can go on eBay and you could, I mean I've seen them go for a thousand dollars or over a thousand dollars. Right now there's currently one on eBay. And I think the buy it now is $500. The bid starts at $150. It doesn't have the box or the instructions. So it's really, you know, I, I don't know if somebody put it together like I did or not. But So let me show you what I did. So first of all, I went and I went on BrickLink. And I kind of did a part out into my wanted list. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I will put a card to that video. I did a video a while back telling you how you go into BrickLink and just about any set, as long as the inventory is on BrickLink, you can put that set into your wanted list and then you can go search for all those parts and you can build the set without actually having the set. So that's what I did here. I went to, Brick, to BrickLink, I put the, all these parts in my wanted list and the first thing I did was I had my computer right there and I dug through my my current uh, I guess we'll call it a boneyard, all my extra bricks that I have. And as I was going through, I pulled out stuff, everything I saw that was on the list, and I, as I pulled them off, I took it out my wanted list. The next thing I did was I went to my BrickLink store, and there's an option on the BrickLink store that says you can find all the items that's on your wanted list in your store. So that's what I did. If you need to know how to do that, Leave me some comments and I might do a video to show you, but it's just just one little check mark. It comes up, it brings up your inventory, and it tells you everything you have that's on your wanted list. So I went through that. I took them all out of my inventory. I went and shopped my store. And what that left me with was all the parts that I actually needed. So I went on BrickLink and I made three orders. I went to one store and they had the bulk of the parts. And if you watch my videos, one of my last hauls, uh, you can see the, all the parts come in. And then I went on, on on to another store and I tried to fill the list. And the only thing I was lacking was the train tracks and I think the wheels. So I went to my good buddy Bricks for Chris's store. His store is called Bricks from Chris. And I got the tracks, got the wheels, and I got everything. So when I got those three packages in, I did a haul. Next thing I did was I got the instructions off a of brick set and I built it. Now I don't have the minifigures. All of the minifigures are common figs but I didn't really want to worry about those. There's one torso to the conductor that is exclusive to this set and you can't really find it. I think one shop in BrickLink might have had it. Maybe. I didn't even really go looking for it. Um, so I just said I don't need the figs. But I do have the set. And there's two printed pieces that um, go on the engine. There's only two stores that have it in BrickLink. And they go for $16 and something cents a brick. And that's in Germany. 
So that's two bricks. So those two bricks would cost me over $30 plus shipping. I figured it, you know, it's on my wanted list. If it ever shows up, I'll get it. But if not, I don't need that, num that numbered printed brick. And the other thing that's missing is actually the sticker, which goes back here on the train. This is the train platform. And I did, wasn't going to build this, but I said, you know what, why not? So I built the platform, it's missing the sticker, and again, that's on my BrickLink wanted list. If it ever shows up, there's none of those on BrickLink. I don't, I think that was separate. I don't know if that actually came with the set or not. Um, so anyway, here we go. I'll show you what we got. So the first thing you get is this station, the little station platform, and it's got the gate right here, and I'm really confused why they have the gate on it right here. Because when you put it next to the tracks, you just step on the train. You did, that gate goes to nowhere. So here we go. There it is. So let's get this out the way. And what I really like about this is I like the way the wheels are almost hidden on the tracks. It's pretty cool. So you get the engine right there. And as I said, it's supposed to have a printed brick that goes on the engine. And you, it's supposed to have one on either side. And I'll show you where that goes. And it should say 132 in gold print. And it goes right there. And it goes on either side. So I'm lacking that brick. But there's the engine. And then you get two passenger cars. So I made both of those. As you can see there, those are identical. And for the most part, this is new bricks. I did use a few used bricks. But it's for me, so I like it. What do you guys think? So like I said, these BrickLink orders, um, it was about $35, and that includes shipping, not counting what I already had myself. So you probably could build this, this set for probably realistically between $50 and $60, which is well, well cheaper than if you was to try to obtain this on the secondary market. Um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to load this baby up. We're going to put some characters in here. And we'll give you one final look and our fi my final thoughts. Alright guys, so we got Trains Are Fun loaded up. He's the new conductor of the Legoland train. So he's going to drive this bad boy around. One thing I forgot to mention guys was on all these passenger cars, the roof lifts off real easy. I mean, it's really a good slick design. So you can get your figs in and out of there really easy. And as you can see, each car holds three passengers. So we got some of my good buddies right there. We got some more of my friends on the back. Got a, There's somebody trying to catch up to the... Well, he doesn't want to miss the next train. And then we've got a line of figs waiting to catch the next one. So that's it for this one, guys. If you want to have some fun, leave me some comments. List all the sig figs that are in this video list them all so that's it I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see me do a video to show you how to shop your BrickLink store for your parts out of your wanted list leave me some comments um, maybe I'll do a video like I said I I got this limited edition train I built it really cheap it's really the way to go if you want this I do have those rare parts still in my wanted list if they pop up at a reasonable price I will get them so that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please check out all of my other videos. Check out my train list. Check them all out, all my playlists, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you again.